So back in July, I posted a YouTube short titled Conquering the CCIE Lab in Richardson, Texas. And that video really just quickly documented me getting dropped off in my Uber that morning as I approached the Cisco exam there in Richardson, Texas. But as you can see, Plasley One actually asked what was the test result? And so today I'd like to share with you those test results and apologize for not sharing it a little bit quicker. Well, I wanna introduce you to CCIE number 67564. Yes, that's right. This guy right here. <laughs> but no, all jokes aside, it was, it was honestly a grueling eight hour test and uh, one of the toughest that I've ever taken in my life. And so just appreciative to really be able to get that CCIE number. And as you can see here on the screen, um, this is one of the badges digitally that was issued by Credly. And so I'd like to just really quickly click on this details here. And this is just a service that actually offers digital badges for various um, vendors and different uh, providers of um, certifications around the world to to really not to say authenticate but to prove or validate uh, that a candidate has um, succeeded that so this of course uh, takes you to that CCIE uh, digital badge that as you can see here up top was on my exam date of June the 30th unfortunately when I come here today to let's see click on the actual exam report this is the email that you get when you take any Cisco exam uh, when your pass or fail results are ready. Uh, looks like it was having a few problems a few minutes ago. Let's see if this will load here right now. Ah, still having issues. Got to fix that Cisco, but I did take this screen grab here um, on WhatsApp. And this again, once you successfully pass, you do get your CCIE number and 67,000, I, I didn't know what to expect, honestly. And if memory serves me correctly, the very first number, 1,024, and if you're familiar with bits and bytes, then you know the significance of that, was actually given to the Cisco test site, and 1,025 was a Cisco employee. So the first CCIE number to a non-Cisco employee was 1,026. So if you do the math, that was 1993, and 30 years later, um, less than 66,000 candidates at the time of getting this have passed this expert level exam. So that's across the whole entire globe, 2,000 roughly um, folks, men and women that passed this a year. So this one was definitely uh, prestigious. And that Credly badge, again, if you go to LinkedIn, this is, in my opinion, at least here in the United States, one of the most heavily utilized uh, places where um, on your resume and for uh, different friends, jobs, um, anyone that you want to see that, you can actually show that credential and share that link. So if we click here, it'll take us to that very same uh, page for any of your certifications that you pass. And like again, it's just a testament that validates without having to send uh, any copies of anything or years past people would do many types of forgeries and things like that. But I will actually share in an upcoming video my experience personally with taking the CCI exam and a little bit about studying and preparing for it and just some tips and tricks as well as the good, the bad that I personally think that's worth warranting my personal experience. Again, each and every one of you, if you uh, undertake this, like I said, this grueling and daunting um, endeavor, you're going to have your own journey, um, no different than any other pursuit in life. but. I really did want to thank each and every one of you out there for supporting me along this journey. Apologies for not posting a video in so long, but again, I did get that CCIE number and very, very happy um, to say that I can put that one behind me and uh, definitely won't let this expire. Um, as you can see here, got three years to keep this one up because if you let this one go, whew, uh, you can only imagine. But again, I just want to thank each and every one of you out there for rocking in here with me today. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and peace.